Hey everyone, welcome to another breadboard devlog. For those just tuning in, I'm making a physics based factory slash automation game where you mass produce baked goods. This is going to be a jam packed episode. There's a lot to see, so let's get into it. Last time we left off, we added baking of cookie dough. We just had a baking pan and a manual oven to bake cookies, and there wasn't much automation to be seen. Well, keep watching because that is about to change in a big way. Here are some of the things that I've accomplished since the last video. Walls are actually working now. They'll snap to the nearest edge of a floor or wall that the player is looking at. This makes it pretty easy to quickly build structures. For some reason right now the insides of buildings are actually pretty bright even when they're shut off. I'll have to work on that. Oh yeah, I also added a doorway and a wall with a window in it. I need to make the walls form together more seamlessly and right now with everything being the same metal material, things are still a bit bland. But adding building structures like this it actually isn't that difficult, so I'll try to add some more variety going forward. The biggest addition is this. Ja -ja! An automatic cookie dough placer. You load up some cookie dough on the top and it spits out these cylinders of cookie dough. Two at a time. So to load it up, I made this very large ball of cookie dough. Later you'll have to mix the ingredients yourself. For now, a drone will just deliver you more cookie dough when you need it. More on that later. You can even recycle the cookie dough that you just placed and it'll come back out of cylinders again. For now, one of these large balls of cookie dough will make 60 of these cylinders. And what good would a cookie dough placer be if you couldn't automate the baking? So here you go, a conveyor oven. As you might expect, things cook as they're moving through it. So to cook things for longer or shorter amounts of time, you can adjust the speed of the conveyor. You can also line up multiple ovens if you need to cook things for even longer. Just like with the manual oven, having things cook for too long will burn them. Along with this, I've made the speed of normal conveyor belts adjustable as well. So you can match the speed of your conveyors or mix and match speeds in any way you need. Probably the most satisfying part of making the conveyor oven was adding these flaps to both sides. I was able to make them realistically flat by adding bones to a rectangular model and using Unity's hinge component to add the flapping physics. But this took me way longer than expected. I spent a couple of days on it. But in the end I think they're really satisfying to look at and mess around with. Hey! I've got a favor to ask of you. If you're enjoying this and you like what you see with the game, could you do me a favor and subscribe? It helps keep me motivated knowing that there are people interested in the game. So with all of these new cookies being made, we're going to be needing some way to get them to where they need to go. We already had flat and slanted conveyor belts, but now we have curved conveyor belts. The, they're just curved conveyor belts. They're not groundbreaking, but they're nice to have. I still need to tweak the setting on the curved belts though, because if you let something just continually go around, it will move towards the edge of the belt and eventually fall off. So I have to look into that. Conveyor belts were great for keeping everything moving on a single path, but when you want to split something off and onto a different track, there wasn't a solution yet. So I added a pusher thing. When the pusher gets power, it, well, pushes. You can push anything moving on the conveyor belt. They also pull things back though, so you may have to work to get the timing right for what you want to do. You can scroll the mouse up and down while placing the pusher to adjust its height. When you need something to happen based on an object moving by, you can try using this new object sensor that I made. You just point the laser to where you want to detect an object, and when an object first touches the laser, a pulse will be sent to wires attached to the sensor. I'm really excited for this addition because it's going to allow for some really smart processes to be made. With the save system working better than it was before, I went ahead and added save and load buttons to the pause menu. There's also an autosave option in the menu that will save the game every 5 minutes. It's enabled by default. And finally, I worked up a model for a new computer. The old model was one of the only models I hadn't made myself, and I wanted to make a computer that fits better with the theme of the game. I'm pretty satisfied with how it turned out for now. With all of these new building blocks to play around with, it feels like the game is really starting to take shape. It's actually starting to resemble a factory building game. Even though there are a lot of new things to play around with, I wanted to start getting some semblance of gameplay implemented. So here's what I changed. You won't start with huge amounts of everything now. You actually buy things from the computer and they'll be added to your inventory. Like I talked about in the first video, to get money you'll need to box up what you bake and ship boxes by putting them on the shipping slab. 
If you ship too many burnt cookies or anything that you're not supposed to be sending in, there will be a small disposal fee deducted from your balance for each item. With the money that you get, you can go back to the computer to buy more equipment and keep expanding. There's a new section on the computer where you can see your transaction history. You'll see the money added to and subtracted from your account from the boxes you shipped in. One other thing that I've added is this, a walk-in freezer. For now, anytime you buy cookie dough from the computer, it'll be delivered by drone to the freezer. You can go into the freezer and pick up the cookie dough to use it manually, or you can send it outside by powering the conveyor belt that will carry the cookie dough out through the side of the freezer. I'm thinking that if cookie dough is left outside of the freezer for too long without being baked, it'll go bad. I haven't implemented this yet, but I think I will in the future. Oh yeah, there's another thing that I changed. I made new icons for the inventory bar. Every icon is now being rendered in the updated stylized look that matches what the player actually sees during gameplay. I set up a camera and hotkeys for taking icons, so the whole process of making icons automatically is way quicker for me now. Before I was just screenshotting and manually cutting out the icons in Photoshop. Definitely not the fastest. Hey guys, I started a Patreon that you can join to support the development of the game. The goal is to eventually be working on the game full time. Because it's such an early state though, there's not much that I can promise as far as in-game perks, but I'll add the name of each Patreon supporter and give you a shout out at the end of each devlog. I hope you've all liked the changes that I made. This was by far the largest update yet, so I've been really excited to release it to you all. Thank you for watching. See you next time.